Welcome back. In this video, we will learn to import a .zip file and use the periodic structure tools. Make sure you are back in your materials underscore intro project in your materials underscore intro working directory. Let's begin. Building periodic cells of crystals or salts can be useful for studying their bulk and surface properties. It is almost always best to import a starting structure. Here, we will build a model of a cubic polymorph of zirconium dioxide from a .zip file, which is a common crystallographic file format. Note that MS Maestro also has tools for building crystal structures from scratch, which are covered in later materials. From the main menu, go to File, Import Structures. Navigate to where you downloaded the intro files and select the provided zro2.zip file. Click Open. A new entry is loaded into the workspace. Only the symmetrically unique atoms will be displayed at first. SIF files also have non-descript names. Let's rename by clicking on the entry and changing the name to C-ZRO2. Let's also change the style to ball and stick and give the atoms distinct colors by selecting both atoms in the workspace and from the style menu, clicking ball and stick and color atoms. Let's suppose we want to create a new 3x3x3 supercell. Click on the Show Periodic Structure Tool window in the bottom right corner of the interface. Click Build Cell. Select Translate to First Unit Cell. Recalculate Connectivity. Recalculate Bond Order and set the extents to 1 in every direction. Click Apply. An extended view of the crystal is displayed in the workspace. Cell 3x3x3 is shown in green in the bottom right corner. It is important to note that the specified extents are only for visualization. We have not changed anything about the crystal structure or its periodic boundary conditions. Let's suppose we did wish to create a new P1 cell of this size. Go back to the periodic structure tools and select Make P1 Cell. A new entry is added to the entry list named C ZRO2. P1 and is included by default. The light blue square extends around the supercell as the dimensions of the cell have now changed. Suppose we wish to reverse the original entry back to the asymmetric unit. Include C ZRO2. Return to the periodic structure tools and choose Revert to ASU. We now have two distinct entries pertaining to the zirconium oxide structure the original asymmetric unit as well as the 3x3x3 supercell. Note that these structures are not yet optimized at the quantum mechanical level. To proceed to study these structures computationally, one should next perform an appropriate optimization. If you're interested in learning about periodic quantum mechanical simulations, later materials will cover introductory concepts as well as many workflows which involve building, manipulating, and optimizing periodic systems. For example, you could perform electronic structure calculations on bulk crystals, calculate activation energies for reactivity, or model surfaces. Explore the detailed documentation at www.schrodinger.com slash learn slash training slash materials dash science, where you can access help pages, all tutorials, and information on the online course offerings that could assist you in studying periodic structure calculations. Including Schrodinger's online course titled Molecular Modeling for Materials Science Applications, Surface Chemistry. Visit Schrodinger's online learning page for a full course description. In this video, we learn to import .zip files and use the periodic structure tools. In the next video, we will learn about tasks, post-processing, and analysis. See you there!